it was a game I was so itching to get involved in. Friontina versus Atlanta. Uh, forget the uh, money lines here for a second. Just look for the over two and a half at minus 135. I thought Atlanta would win the game. Both teams to score. But Friontina maybe even go one nil up. And you can come back on Atlanta uh, later on. Because Friontina cannot defend. But they can at home in the first 25 minutes. They can create. Fiorentina at plus 141. Atlanta at plus 182. Some would say that the plus 182 is good enough. But I don't see Atlanta winning 1-0. So then you go with Atlanta to win and both teams to score. Uh, Atlanta to score twice is 140. Mina, everything tells me about goals in this game. And you've got plus 112. I think Fiorentina shouldn't be favourites. Let's put it that way. No, they probably shouldn't be favourites, but I also feel like um, we've gone down hard on them. I think that when they've had time to prepare, they've shown us good football, but because they've also had the conference league to deal with, I think they were overextended, frankly speaking, at the start of the season. It's been a lot of matches for them very quickly, so trying to navigate their way through that has been hard for them. Um, I do think this is an interesting match. I definitely think, you know, over two and a half at minus 135 is not a huge value. You know me, I like your plus 160s if I'm betting... But I can see Fiorentina getting getting two goals at plus 112 looks tasty to me because I don't really trust Atalanta's defense. But I also trust Atalanta's attack. So over one and a half for them as well at plus 140, which one do you trust? Here's the thing that Atalanta is not very good at defending against skillful players. And that's what Fiorentina does have as very skillful players. So this for me, it's I wouldn't know which way to go. All I know is I know for sure that both of them will score. Um Fiorentina just edged the matchup between these two sides in the last six matches. Um, and I think that, I, you know, I have to agree with you defensively. They're just not that strong. And they don't have Amrabat anymore who can offer a lending hand like he did do last season to block everything that they need to. And they've lost somewhat of physicality and they take too many chances. But so do Atalanta. Yes, they do. So it's about which is the better attack. And in all honesty, I think Atalanta have the better attack. And it really helps that Charles de Catellare has scored a goal for Belgium, scored a goal already for Atalanta. So it looks like he might get back to what we thought he would be when he first arrived in Italy, which is a great scoring, goal-scoring sensation. Um, But you've got to go with Atalanta having sort of a better better attack. It's about Fiorentina have a better midfield. So which one do you want to bet on more? I tell you what, just coming to my head there, Fiorentina first Mm. half, Atalanta second half, or just Fiorentina, money line, at half time Nick because Fiorentina do come out the traps at home they do try to put the opposition on the back foot and Atalanta they don't mind coming from behind mm. Yeah, I'm actually okay with Fiorentina being the slight favourite here at home and, and I know it's weird to say especially coming off that <laughs> beat down they took from uh, Inter right before the uh, before the break but last, last year yeah that was bad uh, but, I, but you know, these are professionals this is a big bounce back spot for them they, they gotta get that, that result past them last year at home they were really, really good. They had a plus 0.78 expected goal differential. They averaged over 58% possession. They outshot their opponents in all but two matches. And my favorite stat, and why I'm going to look at the corners market here, is they, they're they very good at holding their opponents uh, out of that final third and into that, that, that attacking presence. And they've they kept everybody to four corners or fewer last year at home, except for one match they allowed AC line five. But otherwise... Very good at keeping opponents uh, from getting behind that back line and you know creating a lot of pressure on on goals. So, at Atlanta, you look at the results this year. Each of their matches they've played, they've been clearly the better team. Um, they've generated seven corners in each each match. But you know who, who is it? Monza, Frosinone, and, and Sassuolo. So it's like you know they're not going to dominate this match like they did those matches and have that many. Uh, chances and attacks in that final third, I don't think. So I think this is going to be a, a, a game where I honestly don't, I'm struggling on the side. Uh, the total, you know, I, I think I feel like I, like I agree with you guys where I would expect to see goals, but I don't see them necessarily coming um, with, like, you know, a, a lot of balls getting in behind or off the goal line and, and getting corners. So I think it's going to be a, a low corner total. None of the matches so far for Fiorentina have gone over this total which is nine and a half i think it's pretty high right now so i'm going to take under nine and a half corners i just don't see a lot of that happen and, and fiorentina has have proven that at home they're tough to get behind so i kind of like that play. yeah what about cards here do we do we think this could be a bit uh feisty because it's going to be very very evenly matched fiercely contested 
Um, and Fiorentina can get their toys out when their things are not going their way. Atlanta are strong, so maybe we have to look at the cards as well, but maybe it's an in-play. I think Fiorentina do come out of the traps. Let's have a little look at the official picks. Uh, under nine and a half corners at minus 125, but again, I do think both teams score and the over. <laughs>